Sola Scriptura. Sola Fide. Sola Gratia. Solo Christo. Soli Dio Gloria. Reformation is not complete yet. It started in 1517. It has to go on till the return of Jesus Christ. In the meanwhile, you and I, and all Bible-believing Christians, must protest everything that is anti-biblical. I am a Protestant. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. I am a Protestant. Why am I a Protestant? I protest anything unbiblical. I am a Protestant. I am not a juiceless non-Catholic. I was on my knees with this message. And the Lord impressed upon me to tell you what the church needs today. Listen to it with all reverence. What the church needs today is not more of committee meetings, but more of prayer meeting. What the church needs today is not more of organizers, but agonizers on their knees. What the church needs today is not more of supporters, but soul winners. What the church needs today is not more of managers and administrators, but leaders. What the church needs today is not more of missiologists, but missionaries. What the church needs today is not more of money, but laborers. What the church needs today is not more of planning, but waiting before God. What the church needs today is not more of sermons, but messages from God. What the church needs today is not more of seminaries, but on-the-job training. What the church needs today is not more of orphanages, but families which will adopt the fatherless. What the church needs today is not more of funds, but sacrifice. What the church needs today is not more of functions, but tears. What the church needs today is not more of ordained clergy, but anointed prophets. What the church needs today is not more of properties, but of spiritual power. What the church needs today is not more of buildings, but neighborhood evangelism. What the church needs today is not more of project managers, but good Samaritans. What the church needs today is not more of givers to missions, but holy intercessors. What the church needs today is not more of sermonators, but Bible doers. What the church needs today is not more of words, but of acts. What the church needs today is not more of discussion, but direction from above. What the church needs today is not more of excitement, but revival. What the church needs today is not brilliant minds, but obedient hearts. What the church needs today is not modern techniques, but the old paths of the Bible. What the church needs today is not more of equipments, but endowment from above. What the church needs today is not more of devotees, but disciples. What the church needs today is not more of fees, but fasts. What the church needs today is not more of religiosity, but charity. What the church needs today is not more of receiving blessings, but being a blessing. What the church needs today is not more of administrative changes, but personal transformation. What the church needs today is not more of talents and skills, but gifts of the Spirit. What the church needs today is not more of healing campaigns, but holiness conferences. What the church needs today is not more of diplomacy, but genuine love. What the church needs today is not more of professional counselors, but wounded healers. What the church needs today is not mission sponsors, but missionary parents. What the church needs today is not more of skilled hands, but sincere hearts. What the church needs today is not more of fluent speakers, but sincere hard workers. What the church needs today is not more migrants to America, but missionaries to Africa. What the church needs today is not more of a new English versions, but what the church needs today is more versions and more language where there is no Bible. What the church needs today is not more of theologians, but godly men and godly women. What the church needs today is not more of Christmas celebration, but preparation for the second coming of Jesus Christ. If you believe that, please stand up. That is my altar call. If you believe that, stand up. Otherwise, please be seated. All eyes closed. Heads bowed down. Hearts lifted up with all brokenness. Oh God, we are sorry and we are sorrow stricken because of our spiritual bankruptcy. We don't know our wretchedness. We don't know our miserableness. 
We don't know our blindness. We don't know our lukewarmness. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Gracious Heavenly Father, to whom belong all glory, honor, power, praise, and dominion. We thank you because we heard your voice tonight. It was not a sermon. You spoke to us. You spoke to my heart again, O oh God. I am more broken now than what I am when I began to preach. Because I realize my unworthiness more than what I was over two hours ago. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the faith that you have instilled in our hearts. Thank you for the grace of God. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We have a God whom we can glorify now here on earth and tomorrow all through eternity. In Jesus' name, Amen.